everybody, this is Chad with round two doing our product spotlight, monthly product spotlight. This is for November 2022. So for anybody who's tuning in who hasn't watched these before, these product spotlights, we always get a lot of product in over the, over the month. This is all stuff that is in production right now. We'll come out in the next four to six weeks or so and, and be shipped out. So there's a ton of stuff for this month coming out for November. Uh, we're going to jump in and show you guys there's 164 scale Johnny Lightning, three releases we're going to show you for that. There's a new Auto World uh, Deluxe Target exclusive release we're going to show you guys in a larger scale uh, die cast. We have nine offerings for that, some 118 stuff, some 124 stuff, a military uh, style plane, rat fink plane that's really cool. Um, we're also going to show you guys slot car release, a four car release for Auto World slot cars. And then for the model kits, there is... 11 model kits to show you with sci-fi stuff and automotive stuff and some model kit accessories So we're gonna jump into it. We're gonna start with the slot cars So for slot cars, we've got a release to show you guys There's four cars in this release and this is using our Hot Wheels license. So What's really cool uh, about this? Some of these are extraction. Some are four gears These are all based on Hot Wheels diecast cars really popular Hot Wheels cars first in the uh, slot car series is the 55 Chevy Bel Air Gasser. This is a tribute to the famous Candy Striper car. Um, pink, it's got all the Candy Striper details on it. The stripes on the top. This is a really, really popular Hot Wheels. And there will actually be a uh, Auto World Store exclusive version of this in pink chrome as well. So that's the first for this Hot Wheels uh, tribute release. Second is a 70 Plymouth Cuda Funny Car. This is a tribute to the uh, Hot Wheels Classic series. So you can see all the uh, Hot Wheels Classics details on the side of it. This is on a four gear chassis for our Cuda Funny Car. That's second in that Hot Wheels tribute release. Third, another extraction. This is the 69 Chevy Camaro SS. This is a treasure hunt tribute. Um, this is a paint job based on a uh, very popular treasure hunt uh, Hot Wheels with the flames on it there. And lastly, uh, on a four gear, a 70 Plymouth Duster Funny Car Stars and Stripes tribute for this one. So, again, based on a real uh, Hot Wheels Stars and Stripes car. Great looking livery design on that. And all the Hot Wheels logo, Stars and Stripes, lots of cool stuff on that one. So that's what we got for slot cars. Next, we're going to jump in and show you the 164th diecast. So jumping into the 164 scale, uh, starting with Johnny Lightning, we've got a Street Freaks release to show you guys. Now this is the version B for the Street Freaks that uh, release that we showed you in a previous video. So first off in this one, uh, the 1985 Chevy Silverado C10 Fleet Side Zinger. This version B is in orange and black, of course with the uh, crazy Zinger uh, detailing with that blown engine, chrome engine, but also with the uh, off-road style lights on the back and the big raked Zinger chassis. Second uh, for the Zingers, the 72 Ford Maverick. This is a crazy looking one for the version B, all in this uh, gold with gold chrome all over it. Actually, gold chrome interior, gold chrome uh, chassis, gold chrome engine. Almost looks like a chase car right there um, called the Gold Flame. But uh, the 72 Maverick should be a very popular one. Third in the release with the 57 Chevy Bel Air of the Customized Series. So the version B for this is in a uh, cobalt blue color, a metallic blue, like a deep metallic blue. Really cool looking. Has that uh, lighter blue striping on the side of it and the blue uh, striping on the roof as well. For Barn Finds version B, if you guys remember, uh, we had the 64 Shelby Cobra Daytona Coupe. The version A was the dusty version uh, with the writing on the side of it based on a real barn fine Shelby Daytona coupe this version B is how the car looks now uh, at the museum After it has been uh, restored or refurbished. So there is the clean version of that barn fine Daytona coupe Next in the release uh, the version B for the 24 hours of lemons endurance racing uh, 1998 Honda Civic hatchback. So the version a was the purple and yellow version based on my team's uh, 24 Hour of Lemons car. Version B is a triple pink. Um, again, crazy looking uh, paint on it. Has the leopard print on the side and all the details that 24 Hours of Lemons release. We're really excited to bring those out. Next up, 
1976 Plymouth Volare Roadrunner. Version B for this is the Project in Progress. So it has a primered front, red, primered side vents. Great looking release for that. So that's everything for Street Freaks. Next up, we have a pop culture release for you guys. So uh, six cars in this, just one version of each. First, uh, keeping up with our Speed Racer series, this is Captain Terror's car. Here it is in red and yellow. It's got the, uh, the race-worn version, as we've been doing with a lot of these Speed Racer cars. Number 11 on the side. Of course, the uh, uh, race-worn always has little scratches and everything on the side of it as they crash and bang into each other throughout the race. And uh, next up for pop culture, as part of our Hasbro license, we're doing the Game of Life. This goes with some of our Clue and Monopoly stuff. Um, this is the Chevy two-door wagon version so a great family vehicle for the uh for the game of life and has all the uh the spinner on the top and all the details on the side taken from the board game so a fun release for that to go with the other board game series cars uh continuing with our clue series the modern clue vehicles this is the 2000 chevy corvette mr green's corvette has the billiard room uh graphics on the side of it there a lot of cool detailing on that Then in the uh, Vintage Clue series, the 1933 Ford Delivery, this is Mrs. White's car. It's a bakery, uh, like a bakery delivery car for Mrs. White with all the, uh, all the detailing on the side of it. And again, Mrs. White on the, uh, on the top. Next up for pop culture, uh, our popular John, our, uh, Johnny Lightning 007 series. This is a 74 AMC Hornet from Roger Moore's The Man with the Golden Gun. Of course, in red with uh, all the movie accurate detailing, so it has the striping on the side of it. Again, the uh, white line tires, uh, chrome wheels, and a lot of great detailing on that one. Uh, Trivial Pursuit, 1977 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am, black and gold. Of course, the famous black and gold uh, style on this with the bird on the hood all the striping along the side and the bf goodrich radial ta white letter tires on it great looking car for that release next up in johnny lightning we have a release for our muscle cars usa so version a and b both are here for this one um six cars in that two colors of each first being the 2001 chevy corvette z06 version a is an rpm transmissions car in red now this is based on uh, an actual car run by RPM Transmissions, a drag car. So we went with the uh, drag car style beadlock wheels in the back um, with the black wheels in the front there. Give it that really mean look and it has the RPM Transmissions uh, decal on that front windshield as well. For the version B, we kept it stock with the 2001 Chevy Corvette Z06 in blue with chrome wheels on that. Of course, all the painted detailing that goes along with it. Second, the 1969 Dodge Charger RT in this release. First version in light blue. White RT striping, white interior, chrome wheels, and red line tires on that as well. And the second version in copper poly with a white roof, white vinyl uh, top on that. Light tan interior. And again, the uh, white RT striping. Next up, the 67 Plymouth GTX. First version here in white with a gold roof. Tan interior with that one as well. And the version B in black with red interior, red striping. And red line tires, of course. Fourth on the release, this is a super cool one, the 73 Pontiac Le Mans GT. First version here in green. Tan interior, gold striping down the side of it. Awesome looking mid-70s uh, mid car for this. Love that Pontiac front end. And the uh, next version here is in uh, light blue, has the striping in white and white interior. Fifth in the release, the 1979 Chevy Monte Carlo. Like I said, this is a fairly recent um, recent casting. Maybe the first release of the 79 
uh, that we have done. First one is in burgundy red. It's a two-tone, uh, two-tone red. And the second is in this uh, great looking green, uh, medium green color with uh, again, two-tone pastel green on the top and green interior with it. Great looking release for that. And then lastly, the 2013 Chevy Camaro ZL1. First one here, a Nikki version. Black with the Nikki striping, red interior chrome wheels and the second is in yellow with Nikki striping black top on that convertible you see the black detailing on the hood black wheels of course so that's everything for Johnny Lightning uh, also for 164 scale we have a new release for our deluxe two sets or uh, two packs these are Target exclusives this is the B version we have shown the A um, previously but the B versions, uh, first being the GM Classics with the 66 Chevy El Camino, and the 67 Buick GS400. El Camino in white, Buick in black. Red interior on that El Camino with red striping and a light tan interior on that Buick. Next for the Poncho Power release, the 66 Pontiac GTO in light blue, black vinyl top, red line tires, and the 94 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am here. There it is in red with that gray interior and chrome wheels on that. And then the 2012 Chevy Camaro ZL1 convertible up top in orange. Got carbon fiber accents on the, uh, on the hood there. Black wheels and then the 82 Chevy Camaro Z28 two-tone white and gold uh, with gold wheels, tan interior. Super cool looking release for that. So that's everything we got for 164th. Next we're going to jump in and show you guys all the large scale die cast. So for the 118 scale, we're going to start with the four Auto World 118s. First one being the 1953 Cadillac Eldorado soft top in Alpine white. This is a great looking car here. Has a bright white top, a lot of chrome on it, uh, opening doors, opening hood, detailed engine. The red interior looks awesome with that white, really pops. Um, there's a lot of good de uh, good detailing in the interior as well. You can kind of see the different tonage on the uh, steering wheel with the white and the chrome. This also has a detailed chassis underneath it, as with most of our 118 scale. And there's a look at the back of the package there. It gives you a little bit of information about this Alpine White 53 Cadillac soft top. Of course, done with the top up for this version. Next up for the 118 scale, we've got this really special one the 1969 royal bobcat grand prix uh model j so what's really cool about this one is done in matador red this is based on the royal bobcat version from royal pontiac of royal oak michigan there were only 12 uh optioned out like this as the royal bobcats in that matador red color so it's a very very rare version great looking crazy luxury car uh these were um designed by John DeLorean at Pontiac. We're super fast, uh, 428 engine. And this has opening doors, hood, and trunk on this model. There's a look at some of the information about Royal Pontiac there, the Royal Bobcat, and uh, the back of that packaging. And you can see the detailed chassis underneath in the package as well. Next up for automotive, we got another special one. This is the 1968 Oldsmobile Cutlass Hurst Olds. Uh, what's cool about this, this is the Sport Coupe version. Also has newly tooled uh, post coupe and glass. So the side glass there, that's newly tooled to do the, uh, do the post version of this car. Great looking silver color on this. This is one of only uh, 64 of the uh, Sport Coupe versions for this. And this is part of the Muscle Car and Corvette National Series, which I'm sure you guys are familiar with by now, where these are all cars that are at the Muscle Car and Corvette National Show. The show happens every year in November, actually, um, in Chicago, and we will be going again this month out at the Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals. We'll have a booth there. We'll have an exclusive car there. We'll be taking more pictures of cars to do more uh, um, replicas of them for this series so another really great car for that and a fun series that we really love doing 
And then also for our silver screen cars, been doing a lot with the 007 series. This one is super exciting. The Lotus Esprit S1 uh, from The Spy Who Loved Me. Now, what's cool about this, it's done as the submarine version here. You can see in the packaging, went with the blue, uh, the water looks, so it's in that submarine mode. This has a lot of cool detailing with it. Uh, the interior is screen accurate. It actually has a gray dash, but the interior is green and orange plaid uh, to match how the, how the uh, interior was in the movie. And some of the really neat features with this is that it's not only the submarine version, there's uh, options on this to do to make it the car uh, version as well. So you can take the little submarine pieces off, you can uh, pop the wheels out from underneath of it there. There's an engine cover, so you can see the detailed engine that's also inside of it. And the uh, louvers, there are some louvers that are uh, static cling that you can put on and take off. So if you want to switch between submarine mode back and forth, um, you can do it. Submarine, have it screen accurate with the louvers or as the car version. Not much to see underneath there uh, because of the blue, but a lot of great detailing on this uh, on this model. So jumping into the other large scale die cast stuff we have, we have some special offerings. First being the 1929 Waco straight wing plane. This is the Rat Fink Rat Baron version based on the World War I pilot, uh, the Red Baron. We had a lot of fun with this one, creating this Rat Fink pilot figure to go on top of the uh, this Rat Baron style plane. So he's got the bomb in his hand, looks all crazy, crazy eyed as he's flying in. Um, all these cool graphics on it, those Rat Baron uh, graphics on the wing, little bullet holes on the side of it. And I had a lot of fun with the packaging as well. So you can get a look here. Um, at that packaging as he's flying in going all crazy and all the uh all the fun bullet holes and metal and there's some information also on the back um talking about ed roth talking a little bit about uh the ideas for this for this rat baron and how we kind of had fun with this uh version and then you also get this fun little rat fink air force uh fake rat fink pilot's license <laughs> the, just a fun little throw in for this kit so that's uh, that's a really fun one for uh, Rat Fink. We have one other cool Rat Fink release we'll show you guys too. There is the Rat Fink Lucky Number 13 fire truck here, based on a 1940 Ford pickup. Uh, it has a bonus Rat Fink fireman figure included, um, which you can probably see on the top of the packaging there, and a lot of, of course, crazy Rat Fink detailing. The number 13 fire uh, fire engine number on the side. If your tails are burning, our wheels are turning. You can see all the uh, all the cool detailing on that. Uh, opening hood and a detailed engine on this as well, and some information on the back of that package. Um, also, we have a Monopoly offering for you guys uh, for 1940 Ford pickup here. This is the property management vehicle as part of our Monopoly series that we've been doing. So a lot of. Uh, Fun stuff with this, kind of done up, done up as a as a property manager. So all, more of a work truck style here. Of course, with all the Monopoly graphics on the side, you can see Mr. Monopoly and a bonus Mr. Monopoly resin figure included, uh, similar to the Rat Fink included in the last one. And a look at the back of the packaging on that. And lastly, for 124 scale here, the 1959 Chevy sedan delivery Miller High Life version. So utilizing our Miller High Life license, uh, this delivery version of that Chevy. Great look, of course, the red and white on the side of it, champagne of beers uh, along it as well. So limited edition, uh, fun delivery vehicle for this. And there's a look at the, uh, the back of the packaging for that one. So that is everything we've got for the die cast. Lastly, we're gonna show you guys all the model kits. So as I mentioned, there is a ton of models this month, 11 of them. So we're going to jump right in. We're going to start with the sci-fi or pop culture models, beginning with our Star Wars. Now this is Pod Racing, Anakin Skywalker's Pod Racer from Episode 1. Uh, this kit has not been out for 20 years, so re-release of the AMT uh, Pod Racer kit. Great box art on this one. This is a, a super cool kit. Anybody my age who remembers when they were young when the prequels came out playing the pod racing game or going to the arcade and racing as the pod racer 
it was always fun this is a super cool ship to do uh, of course comes with the decals with it a lot of parts in this one um over 100 parts in it measures to 16 inches long kind of an advanced build but a lot of cool features on it you can see the uh there's clear parts in here a lot of details on it it has opening airfoils there's an anakin skywalker figure included with it and um let's look too you can see the display base that's also included with this kit this is a 132nd scale that it builds out to uh molded in gray of course it is a this is a paint and glue kit it's not a snap kit um so moderate experience to put it together but a super cool kit we love these star wars kits uh gonna keep bringing out these re-releases and the new kits that we've been talking about as well so had a lot of fun with that one next uh we've got some star trek for you guys polar lights so this is the galileo shuttle kit now this is the new galileo shuttle kit which now features the full interior so we put out the galileo shuttle uh, about a year ago or so uh had a lot of requests to do an interior for the galileo shuttle so the releases of the galileo interior now come with a full uh or galileo shuttle now comes with a full interior with these crew figures with it um on the polar lights kit really cool details in in all of this you can see all these figures in here uh you get a look at the back of the packaging as well you can see how everything kind of lays out some of the details um included throughout the kit with the command council utility compartment uh, 160 pieces in this kit now uh, glue together kit for uh for this as well builds 11 inches long uh and you can see on the, on the side here there's some clear parts for the kit some more looks at the uh at those seven crew members that come with it and the decals that come with the kit shown here on the side the columbus the einstein and the galileo decals all included so um, our Galileo ship now will feature that interior, but for anybody who picked up our Galileo before without the interior You're in luck. You don't need to buy a whole new kit. We are doing a Galileo shuttle interior parts pack uh, For anyone who has bought the first version of the Galileo So we're gonna do one run here of just this interior parts pack so that you guys can get the interior uh, build it out for your existing Galileo shuttle kit and then we have the, the, the bigger kit that will be replacing the old Galileo. So you can see that's part of the parts pack here. Uh, similar, that layout of all the separate interior parts pieces uh, to go into your Galileo kit. So listen to you guys. We've got the interior coming out. And then you can put that parts pack in your existing Galileo. And it should be really fun, really, uh, really cool build for that. So for automotive stuff, there's a lot of automotive stuff to show you guys too. We're gonna start uh, start with the cars and then we'll move into some of the big rig stuff after that. So this is the latest release for our 1929 Ford Woody pickup. So this is the four-in-one kit. It can be built as a Woody or as a pickup version, a custom Woody or a custom pickup, uh, hence the four-in-one. This is the Coca-Cola version of the kit. So there are some pretty uh, neat features in this kit as well. It doesn't come with a bike that is included. It can also be built out. You can get a look here at the side of what the custom pickup looks like. There's also some Coca-Cola bottle crates that'll be included in this kit. You can put into the back of the pickup if you build it. And there's a look at that parts tree. So you can see all those different uh, different options and ways that you can you can build out this 29 Ford. Uh, next for automotive, we have the Return of the Monkeys, the Monkey Mobile. So um, this one uh, hasn't been out since. 2012 over 10 years i think um been requested to bring the monkey mobile back out so we do have the monkeys license we'll be doing some other uh, fun monkey stuff in 164 scale as well um so of course the wild crazy custom uh gto it's got the uh the four seats in the back got the top on it um you've got the pre-lettered tires that come in this there's actually a bonus like key tag that comes uh with this as well i uh, kept the vintage packaging art for it the decals have a couple different options for them with different monkeys logos you can see the look of, uh for the engine 389 gto engine with the blower on top mag wheels that convertible top on it the extended uh super long body on there there's that interior or the uh, six seat interior i should say um one piece hollow tires and there's a look at some of the other parts and pieces that go on the monkey mobile as well 
and look at that parts tree on the back. Next up for the automotive. This one it has been a long time coming, the Lenny Pond 1974 Malibu uh, stocker kit. This is actually original tooling from the 70s, so this has not been re-released in a very, very long time. It's a really sought-after kit, so we're like ha we're very happy to bring this one back out. Uh, has an expanded decal sheet, some more decals included with it. Uh, it's a fairly easy kit to put together, a uh, beginner-level kit, but it's got a lot of details, so experienced modelers will love it as well. Of course, with the vintage-style packaging, love to do that with these uh, with these re-releases, vintage re-releases. Let's just look at all the details for the interior of that race car. You see the fire extinguisher, roll cage, Chevy racing engine, uh, the slotted, the wide uh, slotted wheels, exhaust system, all the all the cool stuff, and the expanded decal sheet. You can see all the different decals that come along with it, make it easy, easy to panel it up and. Uh, and get all those racing decals included and then a look at the parts tree on the back as well next up for automotive 67 chevy camaro z28 kit uh, so this kit is a two-in-one it's got stock and street machine options with it vintage style packaging with this we did expand the decal sheet in this kit as well uh, some of the Features included, you can see on the side here, optional chrome valve covers, custom wheels, bucket seats, custom chrome side pipes, the 302 engine. Let's look at some of the artwork showing the back of the car here. And there's a look at that parts tree. You can see the layout of, uh, of the 67 Camaro and some of the options included with that Camaro. Next up, the next, the latest release for our 132nd scale Chevy Silverado Monster Truck Snap Kit. This is the USA One. It's the licensed uh, USA One kit. Uh, new decals uh, included in this one. Really fun one here. Of course, you can see a look at that crazy chassis, uh, Monster Truck chassis, and those USA One decals that are included in here. Again, snap kits are fairly easy to put together. And a look at that parts tree. Lastly, for pop culture uh, and in automotive, we've got the Batman and Robin Batmobile here in 125th scale. So we've been doing these uh, Joel Schumacher Batmobiles. Did the Batman Forever Batmobile. Uh, earlier, so this is from the second movie, the the even crazier uh, Batman and Robin style Batmobile. So look at some of the features in this. You can see um, some of the water slide decals that are included with this kit. There's a, some crazy buildup on the side. That giant, those giant bat wings. You can see the hubcaps, Batman figure included with the kit, and even more detail on the back. Of course, uh, injected in black. It's got detail uh, decals for the gauges, uh, tinted clear parts for it, vinyl tires, uh, and 13 inches long that this builds out to. And you can see our Batmobile and Batwing uh, from Batman Forever are already existing. So that's everything automotive, but we also do have some parts packs uh, coming out of the Firestone Wide Ovals here in 125th scale. So for any of your muscle car builds, you want to add the uh, add the wide ovals too. That's a great little parts pack. And then we also have another wheel pack, the wire wheels and white walls with a bonus continental kit. So there's a fifth wheel included in this. You can see in the wires here. And then for the big rig kits, we got some really neat stuff for you big rig guys. Starting with the AMT California Hauler Peterbilt 359 with sleeper. So... This is actually the whole uh, sleeper unit has been retooled for this kit. A uh, lot of details in this kit. Uh, new decal sheet, the vintage style packaging with it, but with that newly retooled sleeper. I know this is one that you guys have been waiting on. Really excited to bring this one out. You can see some uh, of the other features on this kit here as well. Splash guards, fifth wheel assembly. There's a look at that chassis there. The uh, 290 horsepower. Got the engine uh, 
chrome looking engine here. You got the decal, colorful decal sheet that's included with this. There's a look at some of the other, uh, how the sleeper looks on the side with the air conditioner unit, horns, running lights, movable hood. A lot of parts on this one. You can see that on the back, 312 parts. Uh, and the giant parts tree on the back. So a great one to build. Uh, and then two more for the big rig guys. Uh, we've been doing some of these 124 scale uh, Italeri kits. So first one, uh, we bring back the Peterbilt uh, 377 tractor. So these are 124 scale, uh, big, big kits. Uh, 285 parts in this one here. Um, you can see the decal on the side, decal sheets on the side there. Golden white, silver, gray, black, and clear. Uh, Detroit diesel engine included with it. Chrome plated sun visor, got the exhaust stacks. And there's that steerable front axle. I'll look at some of the other parts and pieces for this as well. As I mentioned, 285 parts, so a huge kit for that Peterbilt. And then one more, the Western Star 4964 tractor. Again, 124 scale with this one as well. Uh, also over 285 parts in this kit. And you can get a look there at the, uh, at the decals on the side for this kit. Another sleeper, uh, sleeper unit for this one with the tilting hood. And then on the side here, look at some of the more of those special features for the steerable front axle, uh, a lot of the chrome parts included, etc. So that's everything that we've got for you guys for the month of November. Like I said, a ton of product. Uh, we got a lot more coming for December. Of course, a ton more coming next year. So be sure to stay tuned. Follow us on our Facebook pages, on our Instagram pages, Round 2 Models, Johnny Lightning Diecast, Auto World Diecast. We have pages for all of those, Classic Metalworks, Racing Champions, and you can go to round2corp.com. We always post up new tooling, sneak peeks on there. Uh, we post news on there as well. So follow us on those. Thank you again, guys, for your support. We could not do this without you. Thank you for watching these videos. Subscribe if you haven't done that yet, and we'll see you in December.